Madura di pate, Achillam Maduram. Madura di pate, Achillam Maduram. Vachanam Maduram, Charitam Maduram. Vachanam Maduram. Charitam Maduram Vasanam Maduram Valitam Maduram Chalitam Maduram Brahmitam Maduram Chalitam Maduram Brahmitam Maduram Maduradipate Akhilam Maduram Maduradipate Akhilam Maduram In Nanagari is so apt. His given name, Bhupati Raju Venkata Lakshmi Narasimha Raju, has a deep meaning. In salutation to Nanagaru, who is so dear to our heart, a few words that urge expression in a moment of overwhelming gratitude. O Bhupati Raja, which means Lord of the Universe, like Venkata, the Lord of the Seven Hills, you bless us and respond to our prayers. You help us to overcome misery and you shower us with your grace. You are Lakshmi, the Lord of Wealth, not the impermanent worldly positions, but the real wealth of the ultimate divine knowledge and supreme bliss. You are Narasimha, the destroyer of all delusion, the Maya, and upholder of the efforts towards faith and self-realization. You are Raju, the king of kings, the protector of all creation. We take refuge in thee. While you are the Supreme Lord, you are truly Nanagaru, most revered and beloved Father. You enfold us in your divine embrace and shower us with endless love and peace. We experience bliss in the loving glance of your grace. Our salvation lies solely in total surrender to your beloved peace and constant remembrance of you in our heart. Bless us with strength and courage to have faith in you, undisturbed by the worldly affairs. Bless us so that we always love you. We are listening to him. He will give what you never imagine. Yes, and, uh, absolutely. Most of the time, absolutely. At least, I don't listen to him. I'll ask him what I want. But rather, if I'm, when I stopped asking, he started giving something which I never imagined. Multifold. He used to come in the dreams. You'll sort it out mm. and then you'll take care of it in such a way that you are his son. That kind of assurity yeah. he will give you. True, so true, true. You not feel that you are alone. Yes, um, correct. Sometimes when you feel like a, I'm an orphan, uh, that night or early morning dreams or I don't know whether it's a dream or whatever name we can call it. Because vision, vision, vision. The whole vision. life, itself, whole life yeah. itself a dream in one aspect. So he will come. He will in such a way that the whole day, like uh, what I used to drink, the, I used to just uh, water and then prasad, like that I'll be in a completely a different plane, like uh, uh, what is it called? In people can uh, call it as a high, or in English we can mm-hmm. say I wasn't very high. So, mm-hmm. but this high only due to Nana, not for any other <laughs> materialistic activity or of, uh, yeah, reason. Yeah. In Thiruvannamalai, some of the Westerners had been very judgmental, very nasty to me, and I brought up this feeling from childhood that I am a bad person, that I am, you know, I am not worth living. And Nanagaru arrived in town, and he took one look at me and he said, "What is happening?" And I said, "I am okay." And he said, "No, you are not okay." And he said, "Today I am coming to your house. You be there." And um, I lived in a little cottage around the corner, of the, you know, around the other side of the mountain. And he came with um, Ramachandran and um, I don't know who else, but a couple of people. He came to the house and he sat on the bed and the bed was just a small cottage. It looked out at Arunachala perfectly. And he sat on the bed and I sat at the floor and he kept saying to me, Heather, 
It's a very nice house. You stay in this house. You don't leave this house. Heather, it's a very nice house. You stay in this house. You don't leave this house. And it, even though it seemed like he was talking about the house, he kept pointing it at me. And when he left, I realized that that desire to die, that I am a terrible person, he took with him. That the house that he was talking about was this body, this life. And it felt like he healed that wound like some miracle. I think all this, you know, he didn't have to say any of this, Usha. It was just for us. Yes. For us to, you know, the faith is there, right? Just to make that even more strong, mm. even more strong and strong. Uh, he is just revealing himself. Just like yeah. how, you know, Mark Krishna had to come out, right, on the war yeah. field. He yeah. had to, you know, uh, do it. Otherwise, he didn't have to say these things, right? Yeah. Just to yeah. show that, you know, how he's taking care of us in any space, in yeah. any space, in any given time. He's just not going to leave you, right? We've been traveling so long. We've been traveling so wide. We've been traveling these lifetimes to find this way home. Yes. Home is where the heart is. Truth is in the living. Love is in the giving. Who I am now. Beautiful. <laughs> and Nanagaro's teachings to me were mostly in silence. He simply sat there, he gave his darshan, as he would do, but you could always feel him tuning everybody's energy. He'd tune in on certain people, do a little energy tune, you know, he would always do this, and you could feel he was doing something with his shakti. He had an entire loka of his own. You can say like nana loka. <laughs> it was uh, all this time that I was sitting with him, you know, not uh, understanding what he was saying, mm. but observing, you know, and mm. uh, being there. Mm. I was so fascinating, fascinated by his by his attitude and his behavior. At one point, you had this very um, child childlike, yes. innocent, um, undisturbed, unbroken, undisturbed. All yes. is present for everyone. Everyone, everyone. And then, um, at the other hand, you had this um, sudden and powerful and focused transmission. Yes. yes. That he could give, and I could. I was fascinated by this. I could not bring it together. You know, I could not. I was thinking, how can uh, someone? Uh, being in this um, uh, unbroken natural state, you know, uh, no uh, oneself when there is nobody left there. Yes. That was a, a question that, um, a burning question that I had all the time when I was observing With this. And nada. while observing this, I forgot completely about myself. I was... <laughs> <laughs> but it came always and always and then always, you know, and yeah. I just couldn't comprehend, you know. Yeah, that state. Such a simplicity. Yeah. yeah. Like, such a sympathetic and beautiful smile that he gave, and he said, they're experiencing peace, and they don't know about it. Yes. Right? And that is... That is, how, I mean, that's the best part, right? We are all experiencing yeah. peace and we don't know about it. That is yes. more important that we don't know about it because, yes. I mean, that causes a lot of ego again. And, yes. and so not yes. knowing it is mm. such a great blessing, right? Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jay Jay Ram Om Shri Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Ram Om Mostly was I, I felt with the visit to Nanagaru is that I I was losing my vasanas I, my vasanas were removing 
I was de more detached, more and more. It was true that I was praying for that also. We reach into their soul, like a mother or like a loving father, they take our little finger and guide us on, see us through our life, Karna. So that yes. we won't fall anywhere. They protect yes. us from every yes. possible danger. So that way I think most of us uh, who have come into the Guru's fold, whatever be the name is, the uh, name can be different, the physical form may be different, but there, when it comes to the love and the affection of a Guru, it's just, it's un, uh, unimaginable and indescribable. No. But it's very important for me, uh, the, till now the most important according to, to physical life, is uh, to get realize we are one, and then the, mm -hmm. there will be the solution. For example, for a lot of wars, lot of uh, pain in the world. This is if I if I do something wrong in my eye, if I put my finger mm -hmm. in my eye, my whole body is going to suffer. So this mm -hmm. is the idea. You know, the, the if I do something wrong in China, the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah, we suffer. Connected. Yes, yes. So we are interconnected. Makes no no point. Makes no sense to 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 keep on doing bad things each other. So and uh, once you you see this clearly, then you start to go in deeply and deeply in the in the right way, in the right meditation, spiritual life, whatever. In, you are going to go to the root, to the sense of your. Yes living yeah. to the being mm. and from from our dear managaru make me my master an instrument of your own peace on strings of my heart let your fingers make sweet melody Come wake up the song that is sleeping beneath the dead keys. Let peace be the music and you the musician on me. One thing he did for people who can't understand, he worked inside them to have that understanding. We always talk about this in our satsang that when we look back 20 years or 10 years from now to what happened, look back, where we were to, where Nanagaru had brought us in terms of understanding on the spiritual aspect yeah, of it true, or the true, life of it, true, you know. True. He's done a tremendous work for everyone. It's not that we were able to grasp it. It's that he made, you know, all that change in us. Sri Ramakrishna is nobody else, is not separate. Sri Ramakrishna both are the same. There is nobody else who is beyond who is nobody else who is before. It is all Sri Ramakrishna for me and that is what I, I understood. Now when I come, I come and sit uh, next yeah. to his uh, yes. bed. And I think while doing come or while talking to me, I think uh, his hand was, you know, it, it kind of... Uh, was left touched loose. you. Uh, yeah. It, no, no, yeah. it was left loose and it was hanging. It was hanging out uh, of the bed. <laughs> yes, correct. And you held it. Yeah, and yeah. I held his hand and I you held, held it. You and held I kept it. it on the bed under the pillow. And I didn't leave it because it was my chance yeah. not to touch Nanana. So I just kept my hand and I didn't leave it. Usha, I didn't leave his hand. He also didn't leave it. He did, didn't leave your hand. Yeah. He didn't leave my hand. And it was such he, a lovely he, moment. It was such a lovely moment. I remember Rohini. Usha, he was holding onto my hand and he continued talking to everybody. We were chatting. All that happened. And now it was time to depart. It was time for us to leave. And uh, I had to take my hand off. And off his, yes. Because it was, it was time to leave. He yeah. did not leave. Did not leave. Off my hand. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And, and today, for me, it's such a symbolic moment, Usha, because I feel like this is my truth. He never left me. He never left me. 
if at all i had to leave i had to leave but he he has never left me i know i know he is universe himself and he embraced the universe and manu andro we are we are small drops he embraced he ante aina he has ante aina ki anantamaina prem andi because oh. he is the universe himself yes, and he yes. can engulf anybody yes, he can anta antunde aina ki manu a chinni chinni small small droplets a and we happen to stumble onto him uh, yes. his, his grace his blessing and adanta yeah. and uh, you know what yeah. uh, we never miss if we don't eat sweet in our life and man jeevithamlo eppudu sweet tinakapothe we never miss sweet and yes correct we never miss sweet but because Anaga, we do not know the taste we do not know the taste aina he showed the taste of love Yeah. So we are missing yeah. him and he. <laughs> yeah. So that's what it yeah. is. And pakkana anni geethalu chinni venandi. Avunandi. So so he yeah. is the epitome of unconditional love. love. Truly truly. We don't we don't have to do anything and he. we just have to imitate him see him and follow him. There shall be showers of blessing This is the promise of love There shall be seasons refreshing Sent from the Savior above Showers of blessing Showers of blessing